Hey guys, it's RVC here and I'm back again with another video. I recently purchased the OnePlus 7T. Let's see if it's worth buying it in 2020. The OnePlus 7T is pretty much same as current flagships. Front and back glass with aluminum frame, which is fine. But the worst thing, it doesn't support wireless charging. I don't understand why the glass build. Anyway, if you're planning to get the 7T, then I would recommend a skin or cover, which good thing OnePlus includes in the package. The 7T packs a Snapdragon 855 chipset, which is an octa-core CPU, and it's accompanied by Adreno 640 GPU and 8GB of RAM. These specs are similar to the 2019 flagships. Well, it also runs on Android 10. The overall performance is amazing. This is due to the CPU and the screen, which I will talk about that later. There is no lag when opening or switching between apps. Everything is smooth and responsive. I can't really complain when it comes to the overall performance since everything runs as it should. The 7T packs triple cameras. 48 megapixel with f1.6 which is a wide angle and is equipped with ois 12 megapixel with f2.2 which is a telephoto with two times optical zoom finally 16 megapixel with f2.2 which is ultra wide the cameras take decent pictures with great colors and contrast even in low light photos produced are usable thanks to the ois it's not the best out there, but the photos are pretty good. The same applies to video, which can capture a lot of video options from 1080p to 4K at 60fps. The 3800mAh battery and the option to darken the interface with Android 10, battery life is pretty good. I have been using it as my daily driver and it can last for a whole day with heavy usage. With the Fluid AMOLED technology screen, colors produced are saturated and the text is sharp. The 90Hz display makes the phone feel really snappy. There is a tiny difference between the 60Hz and the 90Hz to be honest. Not everyone will notice that. So for the big question, is it worth buying the OnePlus 7T in 2020? Well this is a solid device, with good build quality, great battery life, amazing camera and performance. You also get the 90Hz display. I would recommend it since the price has gone down. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, just drop it in the comment box below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Share this video and I guess I'll have to see you in the next one. Bye.